velocity boundary. We have thermal boundary. We were considering uh, flow over a flat plate. And there we saw development of uh, boundary layers. We saw, first of all, development of velocity boundary layer. Okay, then if the plate was heated. If the plate was heated, if the plate was heated <coughs> and you were making air, kind of cold air to flow over, so you had development of thermal boundary layers. Okay, so TK, so we are, we were having some sort of a, uh, this was a thickness of boundary layer. Thickness of boundary layer. This was thickness of as you have looking a velocity boundary layer. And this was thickness of thermal its thermal counterpart. Taken and uh, from that illustration uh, in the last uh, lecture you saw that this was a function of something like this thing. And this was again a function of uh, x <coughs> x was the distance uh, uh, over the uh, covered by the fluid over the flat plate. <coughs> okay, so this is done. Okay, and so one more thing. Uh, I was okay. So we're talking about convection. So convection involves both. Convection involves uh, convection heat transfer uh, deals with uh, when you have fluids in motion. Fluids in motion. I'm audible. Jab mega awaz kuch break a jayega, mujko please bolye ka na. I'll just uh, just change this thing. I'm audible at this time, huh? My voice yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because uh, in the morning I had some network issues, so so please mujko bolye ka. So, आपने बोला ऐसे PPT दीजिए मैं ऐसे दे रहा हूँ ना वो so uh, I think about two three days back I had again network issue and some other uh, power issues so I was not able to ये uh, yeah, take classes from the laptop or the desktop okay so we have convec uh, we are talking about convection heat transfer so convection heat transfer uh, is uh, when you have fluids in motion so what do you have there so as I was telling you in the last uh, lecture, you have both momentum uh, transport and energy transport. So you have a transport phenomenon. So chicken. So this will come. Uh, this will uh, tell you fluid flow, and you will have the heat flow. So it's quite uh, quite uh, important that obviously you'll be talking in terms of therefore uh, when you have flow over a uh, plate, I was just telling you flow over the plate. Okay, you have development of boundary layers. So so if, if this is a heated plate, if this is a heated plate. So you'll be having, uh, let us say this is the thermal boundary layer. Okay, I'll be x, y, palenge. So you, you'll feel here, velocity rate, uh, temperature rate. So let us, uh, so this will be your, 
velocity bound to the error. So, so in short, in nutshell, you you see that uh, this uh, momentum transport and energy transport is governed by uh, the uh, zones which are just close to the wall. They comprise of your uh, thermal bound relation and velocity bound relation. So you should know what uh, really actually happens in these zones. So take it up. So like, uh, everything is convection heat transfer. Right? No, it depends on these. What what is the behavior what is the scene in these zones thermal boundary layer and velocity boundary layer. that's why i was telling you we are building up what we have said so we should know what happens really happens in these zones taking a uh, thermal boundary layer and velocity boundary layer. we should know what happens in, in these zones <clears throat> okay so it's quite obvious you know, convection heat transfer involves both taking a flares in motion uh, if you uh, recall I, I told you that what was convection Convection was nothing but diffusion plus advection. It's okay, Kegan. It's okay. Yes, sir. Chikina. Uh, it is uh, diffusion plus advection. So it involves. So they can. You should have knowledge about. So so you have to understand the physics. Physics. Huh? Physics of this convection heat transfer. What happens? Connection. Heat transfer. Uh, so please, Anna, please, um, uh, yeah, no, my handwriting is not good because it's very cold and I don't know my hands are not. Okay, I'll just try to see. Okay, so we should have to understand uh, the, the convection heat transfer. Uh, physics of this convection heat. So we can understand the mechanism, what is really happening. If you know the scene, what, uh, what is happening in the, velo in the boundary layer, so the velocity boundary layer and thermal. So, take it up. So, uh, if you know that thing, so up, go, uh, what is, was the major of uh, this convection heat transfer? H, heat transfer coefficient. Heat transfer coefficient H. Well, last time I told you, oh, you can just measure, uh, guys. You can measure it if you can do this thing. So something like this thing, You can. Okay, pen ka kuch hota hai yahan pe. Okay. Okay. Yahan pe pen hai, pen hai. Okay, I can change color also. Look, so if you know this thing, so this is how you can calculate convection heat transfer. I told you uh, last time. So this is thermal conductor of the fluid, and this is temperature gradient in this at the wall. So temperature gradient, temperature gradient, you can calculate if you know temperature distribution and and your temperature distribution is dependent on your flow. Uh, flow and uh, type of flow, type of flow, uh, velocity of the flow, nature of the fluid. I don't know so many things, so it's uh, quite quite complicated. So you have to calculate this thing. So your objective. So last time we uh, ended with this thing. So your objective is this thing. Audience, audience, our objective, yes, sir. our objective is this thing. Okay, so uh, um, well, uh, after that, I told you that we have various types of flow regimes, laminar and turbulent. I told you laminar is a highly ordered flow. Unlike this thing, turbulent is a chaotic flow. So turbulent uh, flow is exhibited by uh, velocity fluctuations. And obviously, if you have velocity fluctuations, you have uh, fluid mixing. So I told you, so we talk, we talk about transport. So transport, momentum transport, and energy transport is quite violent in turbulent flows. It's quite intense in turbulent flows. That's coming to that. And as you should know, laminar flows are very easy to model. Laminar flows can be modeled. 
easily unlike a uh, tablet and uh, well, well, because uh, you if you recall in laminar flows you can see uh, streamlines unlike that thing you can't see streamlines in turbulent flow so you can see that laminar flow is uh, a deterministic flow you can determine the properties properties and uh, as far as uh, turbulent flow is concerned it is a uh, uh, highly unpredictable flow, unpredictable. So if you have to just uh, resort to some modeling. So that modeling is called as turbulence modeling. Okay, so please note this thing, audience. Uh, I request you please note this thing. Note this slide. Noted. I'm going to wrap this thing. Because I'm Mr. Ganesh, I don't uh, keep a copy of this. Thing. I just. Uh, just please, please note. Okay, plus my attentive over here, what I said, Kiji. So I have a lot of constraints from my side. So I have to change daily my policy how I will take the classes. Okay, fine. Chicken. Okay, noted. Noted. Just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what I have to do, my God. Okay, it is all in on the slide. Okay, that's wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so I was telling you, okay, so I was telling you a uh, laminar uh, deterministic flow. Deterministic, because you can see streamlines. You can identify them. Streamline, maybe, you uh, know, if you perform in some experiment in the laboratory. So if you just see it, the flow with dye, that means you do some sort of visualization experiments. So you can identify these streamlines. You can see these streamlines. Now, if you can see these streamlines, uh, see, see these. Okay, my Okay, see these streamlines. So you can see these uh, audience uh, these streamlines. Okay, so if you uh, perform some measurement also, measurement, huh? simple stuff. Okay, can you just? Uh, Suggest to me, suggest to me, can you tell me some uh, uh, measuring equipments which we used uh, uh, for fluid measurements in the laboratory? Kiran, Ganesh, and I just checked it. So, when you meter, orifice meter, okay, that's the total Okay, simplest is bit or static tube. Bit or static tube. So venturi meters, orifice meters, manometers. So they will help you in giving velocity. Okay, pressure differences. Okay, okay, you can just uh, take and calculate the mass flow rates and other things, volume flow rates and other things. So in short. If you try to perform experiments in a laminar regime, you can determine all properties. So all properties, all prop, all can be determined directly or indirectly. It's okay, audience. Audience, it's okay. Yes, sir. You can determine all these properties directly or indirectly. Directly, uh, if see, say, for example, if you use a thermocouple, you just uh, get uh, EMF measurement, temperature. So, yeah, so then you can just, uh, for example, indirectly, uh, you will be able to measure some, uh, say, pressure differential, pressure differential cohesion, Bernoulli equation map, and maybe you can get velocity. So some sort of that thing. So 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 maybe uh, as far as uh, uh, these measurement techniques are concerned. So you have intrusive, you know all these things, and uh, non-intrusive techniques. 
So, I'd say, uh, how many students are 35? I'd say from, uh, from Kashmir uh, division, uh, students have joined. I think in Kashmir division, uh, some uh, areas were having internet uh, issues. Kisko puche? Have they joined? So, koi baat nahi. Anyway, I have recording start kiya ho na, so they can just uh, uh, see the recording also then. Okay, so you have uh, intrusive techniques and non intrusive Intrusive techniques means when you introduce, uh, introduce you, when you put some probe sensor in the flow. So insert a probe, a sensor, non, non intrusive you use uh, good tools, laser, imaging, so you are not disturbing the flow. You're not uh, disturbing the flow. Not disturbing the flow. So something like that. So in short, in nutshell, I was telling you about na, Damanag is a deterministic flow. So I just gave you this. Well, you got a feel, good feel how they do it. So everything can be determined. So on this, so you can say that Damanag flow can be determined. So it can be easily uh, handled. It can be modeled easily. Uh, experimentally, you can just build a model, experimental model, uh, and or mathematical model. You can have it so that you can just extract some uh, good information from that model. Okay, audience, you're following me. Everything is fine. So please note what I have uh, written in the uh, slide. Please note, audience. Noted. <coughs> you noted. Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine. So, that's good. Okay. So, unlike this thing, turbulent flow. If you are just handling turbulent energy flow in turbulent. It is a chaotic flow. Chaotic flow. You can't see streamer, so it is under deterministic. So you uh, because you have fluid fluctuations, fluid fluctuations. It means fluctuate when you have fluctuations, you don't know if you have to determine if you use some sensor. Uh, yeah, you can't determine because uh, at one time it will be having this value and maybe uh, within a fraction of a second you'll be having uh, other value. So you can't. So you can do that if you do some averaging sort of everything there. So we have, so taking averaging over a period of time. So again, so in short, uh, uh, turbulent flow is quite difficult to handle, and you have some models, which are called as turbulence models, that based on uh, probability and statistical these things. Uh, you use uh, this information for just so that predicting for predicting uh, the seen in uh, turbulent regimes. So it's quite very difficult to handle, difficult to model. Maybe you have heard, you have many, many models, K epsilon, so dissipation, K omega model, uh, this thing, uh, models, so, so many, so many uh, models you have. So it's very difficult to handle. So it's very difficult to handle. It's okay, fine. So I was telling you, so I told you, uh, 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 still, I, further I told you that a Reynolds number, a Reynolds number gives you measure of uh, whether the, you are in a, a laminar regime or in a turbulent regime. Or in a turbulent regime. So I told you then external flows give you an idea about external flows and internal flows. So, so I, I express this in terms of number, in terms of some uh, number, 
this is for external flows and this is for internal flows. So this is the transition, critical renal number. So this is what I, I discussed uh, in the last lecture. Please note what I've just written on the sheet. <laughs> Noted. Have you noted? Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, so Titiana, so you now know lamina can be handled easily, unlike uh, turbulent flows. So, we'll just uh, try to uh, focus our attention on lamina flows. So, that our objective is, uh, our objective is, just hold on. Uh, yeah. our, our attention is H. We have to calculate H. So we'll take a laminar flow regime and try to uh, see the procedure, how we can calculate H. H is a very quite complicated quantity. H depends on so many factors. And all of you know uh, what are the factors. So we'll just try to see uh, how we can calculate H. So as you know, so we are talking about convection heat transfer. So we'll be talking about boundary layers because really what actually happens, it happens in the boundary layer. So we'll just take, first of all, we'll take velocity boundary layer, then we'll take thermal boundary layer. We'll just try to see what information we'll get. So in, in nutshell, you, uh, the goal is, uh, you should uh, know temperature uh, distribution in the boundary layer. Before that, you should know velocity distribution in the boundary layer. So this information will give you will give you heat transfer coefficient. So we'll see that thing. Okay. 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 So we'll take this thing now. Audience. Uh, we'll see development of uh, audience. We'll see development of uh, laminar boundary layer on the flat plate. Audience. So we'll just focus on this thing. Why laminar boundary uh, laminar flow regime? I told you it's very simple. It can be easily modeled. Modeled. So it is a laminar flow is a deterministic flow. You can predict, you can just, if you use a sensor in the form of pitot-static tubes, a hot fire anemometer, you know, so many sensors, so you can determine the properties. So laminar flows, uh, we use. So we are, we'll just try to uh, ha uh, imagine, we'll try to imagine that we are having a development of a boundary layer on a flat plate. Okay, audience, you're following me? Yes. So, uh, so I'll, uh, they can in fluid. Uh, we are talking about fluid dynamics. So we'll consider uh, when once we talk of fluid flow, we talk about uh, control volumes. That means we take a particular control volume and we see how much uh, fluid is entering a particular uh, through a particular boundary and how much fluid is leaving through a particular boundary. Okay. So we uh, we consider a control volume. Okay. So this is fine, and obviously, you know, so uh, uh, we have to just to see uh, the thing, development of a velocity boundary layer. So we'll just uh, see, we'll, we'll try to uh, derive the relevant equation of motions which we have, because we are having fluid motions, which are have a, which we will be having in a boundary layer. Taken, and obviously, we'll just uh, derive those equations by making uh, a balance of force and momentum balance on this uh, element, the control volume, okay. So this is what we do. Okay, let me, just, just hold on, 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 okay. This is uh, what we am doing, okay. They can, this is a flat plate, audience, this is a flat plate. Can you see? This is a, a flat plate and you are having flow over the flat plate. Uh, the flow velocity, the free stream velocity or the flat plate is U infinity. Obviously, you will be having development of velocity boundary. 
so these are x and y coordinates okay so they can uh, so the, yeah, this is the development of a boundary layer so uh, i say that you are handling you are uh, performing you are imagining you are simulating the whole thing in a laminar gene okay so this is a laminar boundary layer okay so uh, I, I take a very small element differential element you know uh, of uh, diamonds and dx in x direction dy in this uh, y direction and let us say that uh, depth in z direction which is towards you huh? towards uh, towards my uh, it's unity it's okay fine audience it's okay so i'm just considering this thing i'm just uh, trying to see what uh, is the fluid entering here fluid leaving this boundary Fluid entering from this boundary, fluid leaving this thing. So we'll, I'll do some sort of, first of all, mass balance. Then I'll do some momentum entering uh, this phase and momentum leaving this thing, momentum leaving the, uh, entering the top, uh, this bottom phase, momentum leaving. So, and, and I'll also just try to see what the forces acting on the various phases. So, have you understood what we are doing? Audience. So, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Audience. Everything is visible. Audience, everything is visible. Yes, sir. So everything is visible. Okay, yes. we are here. Okay, we are here. Okay. So, I think I'll just wait. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so assumptions. So I told you now, uh, just a recall, just a recall. We can, uh, you, uh, we have done a lot of analysis uh, as far as conduction heat transfer is concerned. So just recall, first of all, uh, we had a case of a plain slab. Why we took a plain slab? So because plain slab, you know, without heat generation, we were uh, assuming that we are having heat conduction only in one direction. We are, uh, thermal conductivity of the material was uh, constant, okay? And the material was homogeneous, and there were uh, no heat generation sources, some sort of those things. So we could uh, get, uh, uh, we got uh, appropriate heat, conduct heat equation for that case, that we were able to find the solution of that uh equation also no? and we got temperature distribution there for the plane slab how temperature behaves in the plane slab when it is subjected to two different uh temperature levels and two boundaries that's all so we are just trying to uh, see this uh, the same thing so again we made some assumptions we made uh, th those assumptions uh, just to simplify our analysis so that we can uh, just uh, find a solution so I'm just doing the, the same thing procedure. Why I took laminar flows? Uh, flows because it's quite easy to handle. I could uh, take pulp tub, but again, that is a it's a quite a, it will become a tedious one. So you will not understand. So it better would be to first of all uh, just uh, handle some simple issues. Um, ABCs of uh, the cyclic dynamics. So we'll take uh, laminar boundary uh, layers of development of laminar boundary layers of flat plates. So assumptions. Okay, so first of all, we'll just uh, rule out there is some compressibility. Uh, we we'll, uh, treat that flow is steady. It's okay. We'll treat that flow is steady. That's fine. And we treat, treat that uh, you don't have unsteadiness in the flow. So that means time factor, temporal variations, time factor. Temporal variations. I ruled out. So just we want to just uh, focus our attention on simple facts so that we can just get something, some information. Okay. Okay. A variation uh, in the direction perpendicular to plate. So after you plate here, yeah. so there is no uh, perpendicular to plate. Okay, fine, that's all. Okay. So I tell you that viscosity is constant. Viscosity, and you know, is called viscosity, male. It's constant. Okay. Okay. Uh, I say that visco uh, viscous shear force in y direction. In y direction. We don't have you have viscous uh, force only in x direction. 
so they cannot you don't have this you don't have viscous supports in y direction so they are negligible okay so this is so please uh, note the slide it's okay fine so i just am building up so that i can uh do the analysis so noted yes sir how about you अभी वो अभी दिखाएंगे ना अब छोड़िए ना इसको एक 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 ज़ूम करना है पता नहीं एक मिनट जस्ट छोड़ दो अभी ये वो छोड़िए ना मैं अभी ये डिस्कस ही नहीं किया वो तो ये मैं अभी आपको बता रहा हूँ चलिए ठीक है ठीक है ना अभी आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू अबाउट आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू आइडिया अबाउट दिस थिंग ठीक है ना सो ठीक है आई जस्ट ना कंसोलिडेट ऑन इट so you are having just uh, imagining the development of a boundary like of the flat peg chicken okay okay i'll go to the next slide okay so thik ya yo okay so thik na so just recall we are just going to uh, have a continuity equation so you'll see how we'll get it so so uh, as i told you that um, okay uh, so, so this is a uh, you are this thing actually this is your the, the, so we are just focusing on this uh, small differential element of uh, dimensions dx dy and let us say uh, you have the, the depth of this element in z direction is uh, unit so we are focusing our attention on this thing theek hai na okay 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 thoda sa wo dikhayenge aap ओके अब थोड़ा सा ये देखिए ना ये एलिमेंट है ना ये जो यहाँ पे है ना ये मैं आपको यहाँ पे दिखाया सो डी एक्स यहाँ से है डी वाई यहाँ से है सो लेट से वी इज द वेलोसिटी यू इज द वेलोसिटी विद विच यू आर हैविंग दिस इन फ्लो इन दिस डायरेक्शन ठीक है ना वी इज द कंपोनेंट ऑफ वेलोसिटी इन वाई डायरेक्शन जी वी आर गेट नो अट्स ओके फाइन सो ठीक है ना ओके सो इफ यू से दैट ना uh the uh, uh you is the velocity on this face so is uh, we don't know what uh, the what is the behavior in the uh, fluid element what in the in the control wall in this control wall we don't know what really happens the velocity can either increase or it can remain constant or it can decrease so i use a metallic expansion just only taking first order terms so i get this expression here so same logic applies to this thing v is the component of velocity in this direction and if you just try to measure a predicted velocity on this side you don't know what it is so using taylor expansion you can say this thing it is like this thing okay fine so just add, we'll write it so so now you know now you know that the velocity is uh, flow velocity is in x and y directions so it's not obvious that uh, mass mass flow what is what what will be the mass flow entering uh, the left face of the fluid element theek hai na so uh, it is nothing but uh, density if uh, if uh, rho is the density and u is the velocity and dy uh, so area of this thing of this uh, face is dy into 1 because i told you na uh, dimension uh, in z direction is unity so it's like this thing so it will be nothing but it's okay fine it's okay so mass flow entering the left face of the element is like this thing so likewise mass flow leaving the right face would be equal to audience so here this thing will come up. you don't know whether you have an increment or decrement so if the velocity is constant so this term got goes so it depends on you it's okay fine so mass flow leaving the right face so likewise mass flow entering the bottom face Fine. So 
So this is what we are getting for that. So it is dx. Uh, this thing is unit depth. Fine. Okay. So mass flow leaving the top face will be like this thing. Okay, that's fine. So please note this slide. <coughs> 38 students are there. I think we have 87 students in the class. Somebody has posted also some information. Okay, how can I see? Sir, please share the recordings of the last class. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's see, let's see. Uh, the moment I locate it, I'll just see. I don't know whether I have the uh, I have those things in the office. I don't know. Can't be. And I'll just try to locate. Oh, no issue, no issue. So uh, if you just remember that oh, in the beginning, I just gave you a summary of what I had discussed uh, previously. Also. I summarized all the things. No issues, no issues. I'll keep on summarizing all those things. I'll just make you recall um, what we have studied previously also. So take it, fine. I think you have noted. Noted, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so TK. So uh, this is okay, this is fine, this is fine, audience. So TK, TK. So continue the equation. So uh, then we'll just try to perform the mass balance, mass entering the system, mass entering the system, mass flow. TK, so this is out, this is out. So this is inlet quantities, this is exit. So we'll just perform this thing. And on simplification, you get some sort of this thing. <laughs> So on simplification, you get some sort of this thing. Okay, so this is your uh, differential equation. Continuity equation for those particular cases. Cases get the two-dimensional cases meta, incompressible flow meta, okay, uh, steady state conditions meta, and uh, uh, other uh, assumptions were there. So this is continuity equation. So continuity equation. So this talks about you have you have written uh, uh, everything. You know? This is nothing but conservation of mass, a physical law. You have written the physical law in a differential equation. So this talks about conservation of mass. So I have just skipped a lot of set conservation of mass. So our goal is I wanted to show you what really happens in the boundary layer. I want to understand the physics of fluid flow. I wanted to understand the physics of the flow flow in the boundary layer because really what really happens is happens in the boundary layer. So here I'm focusing my attention. I'm just uh, telling you only uh, you are having flow over an unheated uh, this thing. So temperature is not there. I'm not just put uh, temperature uh, gradients there. Okay. So this is a, a conservation of. Uh, mass a physical law so i'm just using invoking this thing so that i can just really understand what happens there so i think it's okay so can you want to uh, i can zoom this thing if you again want okay what happened start okay just wait. so you can you can just have a look look yeah so i think it's okay fine audience is fine so please note the slide I'll shift to another slide. Noted. Yes. TK. Okay. Yes, that's, that's fine. Okay. So TK, we are again there. So okay. So this is a continuity equation. Fine. That's fine. Okay. So again, and again, uh, taking this thing and take, taking this thing. Uh, uh, development of velocity boundary plan. So now I'll focus on some other uh, aspect. I'll just try to see what are the various forces acting on this fluid element. I'll just try to see what is the what are what are the various forces acting on this thing, and what is the momentum? Uh, does the momentum uh, change by the application of these? Uh, uh, Forces which are acting on the fluid element. So I'll just try to see this thing. Take it. Okay. So I'll, in fact, if you just go to physical law, I'll just invoke, I'll invoke conservation of mass. Nothing but 
conservation of momentum. And to be precise, I will just try to see Newton's second law of motion for this particular fluid uh, flow uh, situation. But but uh, I'll just uh, uh, tell you one thing that uh, that uh, what you have been studying in high uh, school physics, you're taking masses. Now you are having control volumes. You are having closed systems. Now you are having some uh, some mass flows, fluid flow, at <coughs> acting a particular boundary and leaving a particular boundary. So just that's why I'm taking control volumes. There yeah, you are having some systems. Are you following audience? Are you following what I'm trying to say? Actually, uh, we had local students also. Now, okay, Zad, so if you want to, have they joined? They have uh, internet issues. Kegan? Yes, sir. They have joined? No, sir, I don't think so. Oh, they have internet issues. I told you that uh, we have internet issues here. Nobody, uh, uh, none from them have joined. What about our classic representative? I called her in the this thing. I was just in the morning. Yes, I am present. Okay, who? Other people are coming. So local, uh, locals. Locals are not here. So like Sri Nagar, ki bahut kam joined. Yes, sir. My area has. Usme wo internet ka block hai. I have joined. I don't know what you are saying. Na, dekha na my area na. <laughs> उसमें वो इंटरनेट का इशू था बाकी तो कहीं से था नहीं चलो कोई बात एनीवे एनीवे ओके सो आई वाज टेलिंग यू अबाउट दिस थिंग अच्छा योर फ्रेंड योर योर क्लास वो दैट शाइस्ता शी हैज जॉइंड नो यस सर शी हैज जॉइंड ओके दैट्स फाइन सो वी हैव अच्छा चलो दैट्स फाइन ओके सो लेट मी सो दैट इज नॉट देयर फ्रॉम आई वाज जस्ट हैव अ लुक हाउ मेनी पीपल हैव जॉइंड सो दैट आई आल्सो नो आपको एडवेंचर डालते हैं अगर इससे बहुत लोग हैं ओके ओके फाइन दैट्स फाइन दैट्स फाइन आप क्या करेंगे इसको ओके सो आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस थिंग ओके सो नाउ द सेकंड इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सॉ अ कंटिन्यूटी इक्वेशन इन डिफरेंशियल फॉर्म ओके कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोर मास इन डिफरेंशियल फॉर्म सो मोमेंटम इक्वेशन We'll just try to build up again. Uh, we'll, we'll use the same as assumptions, and again we'll take this fluid element. Okay, uh, and uh, you uh, assume that we have having unit depth in z in z direction. Okay, so okay, uh, we'll focus uh, momentum flux entering the left face. Momentum flux leaving the uh, left face. Uh, leaving the right face per unit time, obviously. Momentum flux uh, entering the bottom face per unit time. So this thing, I'll try to do this thing. Okay. So take okay. it. So mass, you know, audience, you know, what is the mass uh, flow entering at the left face? You know that. Take okay. it. Just multiply that thing by velocity. Okay. This is okay. You get this thing, audience. Kegan, Ganesh, I think you'll get this thing. Any yes, issues? Yes, sir. No issues. Okay. Likewise, moment in flux, leaving uh, per unit at a time, leaving the right face can be okay. Like this thing, no issues about it. So this is uh, what is the momentum entering uh, the left face, momentum leaving this thing. So, okay. Okay. So let us try to see the momentum entering. Uh, uh the bottom face take it so what is the mass flow through the uh, bottom face rho v dy dy ka hai ye to dx hai bottom face theek hai na so ek minute ek minute just hold on <laughs> आपको बताएगा नहीं कैसे होगा सब सॉरी जस्ट होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन होल्ड सर कि मैं आपको अब बताएगा सो दिस इज ब्रीथ सम सॉर्ट ऑफ दिस थिंग सो यहां से ना सो इसको मल्टीप्लाई करेगा वेलोसिटी से देखो ना मास ऑफ मास विल बी एंटरिंग दिस बॉटम फेस 
mass flow would be and it will be convex it will move uh, in this thing so it is like this thing now both sides Okay, 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 okay. Momentum, uh, momentum, uh, chalo, uh, isko momentum, uh, maano na. momentum per unit time. It's uh, some sort of, uh, how do you define momentum? How do you define momentum? Momentum, kaise nikalta hai aap? Momentum, uh, kaise nikalta? Momentum, kaise nikalta? Mass. Mass of the fluid element into the fluid velocity. Taken okay. So it is a momentum flux. Manok ye yana. In fact, ye muji per unit ega lekna. So mad drop kiana is so I can write it. So it is a, a, a momentum, momentum per unit time. So a, a, we don't have a mass, we have mass flow. Taken so if you recall, if you recall, if you recall, this is nothing but yana ye. What is this thing? This is your mass flow. Take an M dot. So it is momentum entering the left face per unit time, something like this thing. Okay. So TK. Okay. So now you have a momentum uh, entering the bottom face per unit time. So it could be like this thing. Okay. So likewise, using Taylor expansion, you can find uh, momentum leaving uh, the uh top face per unit time okay so please note this slide i'll shift to another slide in the flux we talk per unit area fine that's fine <laughs> so you have the dy into one okay Noted. Done. Done, sir. Okay. So we are here now. Again, we are here. Okay. So this is uh, the scene for the bottom face audience. This is for the bottom face. And this is the scene for uh, the corresponding action for the top face using Java expansion. Okay. So, take care. Fine. So this is as far as momentum is concerned. So we have seen momentum entering and leaving all the faces taken so z car direction ignore so we are taking only 2d case z taken okay so uh we'll just try to see uh just again uh one one one, uh, one thing i want to tell you that we are just trying to see what is the momentum in only x direction Entering a lady, so let us try to see what are the various forces acting in next direction. So, the forces the biggest forces are due to viscous shear force of the element. So, let me try to show you what are the various viscous forces. Okay, yeah, okay. So, so, viscous shear forces acting on the fluid element. So, they can a yevala but yevala face. So, you have a you be having motion like this thing, but you know, they have viscous force, it opposes, it moves in this direction. Tikina. Tikina, okay. So uh, yeah, it is like this thing. And this uh, this face, Tikina. Tikina, you have a lie. It's my viscous force, it's in direction of the Why? Tikina, because this, just imagine that this is close to the wall, like it's velocity come hoga. It is exposed to stream, so it is it, accelerated. So you'll be having a uh, viscous shear force like this. Thing. Okay, so viscous shear uh, forces on the fluid element, and you'll be having then pressure forces, pressure force on this element in x direction, like this thing. If uh, P is the pressure acting on this thing, so dy into one. Uh, Acting on that area. Okay, so then you can use Taylor expansion. So this is using uh, pressure acting on this face. Taken uh, using Taylor expansion. Taken so th this is acting in this direction. G X Y direction multiplied by dy into one. So these are the forces. 
So pressure force on the left face is like this thing. Pressure force on the right face is like this thing. That's fine. Okay, so this is done. This is done. So you'll obtain net pressure force in extension. So something like this. Thing. So please note this thing. Audience, are you following me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A known voice has come up. I think uh, previously we had 38 students, now we are 40. Who was he? 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 Uh, who is this Anmol Sharma? Okay, so uh, have you noted the slide, audience? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mujhe yes, sir. I, still, I cannot understand. <coughs> How come you understand all these things in the morning? Although you have not taken breakfast, you are not, I don't know. By 8.30 pe wo soch ka tha, neti nahi hai, to uske baad net ho gaya. You came. You are just saying yes, sir, yes, sir. I saw what you did in that uh, midterm. My God. You were telling me that you will do uh, those things, uh, solve those uh, uh, complicated equations. You could not do simple things, man. And you were just complaining about the time. Those were, those were trifle issues. 90 minutes is a big time. And you were telling me that uh, we cannot upload a uh, Google form. Everybody uh, can upload. You told me so many things, and uh, I'll tell you now honestly, <laughs> you just you know, choked my WhatsApp account. You choked my uh, this thing, email account. I was having so uh, so many of these mails. Anyway, that goes. So you have your uh, this thing point of view. Okay, so we were talking about this thing. Huh? So we uh, saw uh, momentum. Uh, in next direction, a pressure force is the next direction. So let us try to see what are the viscous forces. So bottom, bottom face, bottom face, bottom face. My God, bottom face, my viscous force. Okay, go to the bottom the viscous force. Can you see this thing? Okay, zoom cuts it from the screen. Okay, zoom. Bottom force, viscous force. Top force, viscous force. Shall take it. So viscous force on the top force. My God. This done, this done. Okay, so net for viscous force. I'll just try to calculate this in the direction of motion. Motion you have in extraction. You have motion and extraction because you are having uh, having fluid flow. Oh, the flat fluid in extraction. Okay, so this is your net viscous force. Okay, okay. So we'll now just try to invoke. Uh, this Newton's second law of motion. What is Newton's second law of motion? Summation of force of the next direction is equal to increase in momentum. Okay. So please uh, note the slide. Take now just try to finish this thing. So I'll take your leave. Noted. Done both sector now? Yes. Oh my god. In the end, uh, 43 students have come up. Okay. So take care. Okay. So now uh, what, what I'll do? Oh, I have this expression. Uh, left hand side. I'll just uh, put all the forces. Net viscous forces. Net pressure forces. On the right hand side. Uh, what is this thing? Increase in the moment of flux. Yeah, I can do it, man. I can do it. I'll just try to not do this thing. So this is, uh, so I'm just putting appropriate uh, um, uh, signs. They can, uh, this is, uh, you know, this thing. And you, this was net, risk, uh, net pressure force. And it's been a gate to sign it. If you just see that, forget that. And this was your, okay, momentum leaving the, at the uh, right face moment to enter. So, okay. So, this is uh, some assembling all these things. So, this we talk about increase in momentum. 
ठीक है ना ओके सो आई जस्ट ट्राई टू जस्ट सिंपलीफाई द टर्म्स आई जस्ट ट्राई टू क्लियर कैंसल टर्म्स एंड आई वुड जस्ट ट्राई टू इग्नोर द सेकंड ऑर्डर differentials because second because differentials if you are second order differentials are very very small so they can be ignored and i'll just make the proper use of uh, the continuity relation continuity equation was nothing but i'll just try to combine this thing okay so i'll just uh, uh just uh, take this thing from uh, this thing and i'll just combine it before in the yes in the other i'll just equate that thing for the same so finally i'll get this thing that's and this is your क्या बोलते हैं इसको कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम मोमेंटम एक्वेशन एंड डिफरेंशियल फॉर्म ऑब्वियसली फॉर लामना बाउंड्री एलेस विथ कंस्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज कंस्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज हमने बताया ना तो ऊपर यू यू हैव क्या बोलते थे विस्कोसिटी वाज कंस्टेंट so uh, maybe you have uh, done all these things uh, in your fluid mechanics course so the, uh, in short in nutshell in nutshell what we were doing what we have done what we have done uh, we have just uh, written a physical laws in differential form physical laws conservation of mass conservation of momentum in differential form for this particular case lamina bound to be or the black that's all so we'll use make use ample use of we'll make ample use of this deliberation this uh, these uh, deductions which we have done so that we can just see what is the physics what is what really happens in this velocity boundary there goal is i have to get velocity uh, uh, the goal is i have to get velocity distribution so i have to get thickness of this velocity boundary there so i can do better job i can calculate the heat transfer coefficient so this is in line with uh, the calculations of heat transfer calculus heat transfer coefficient for a flow laminar flow over the flat plate ठीक है आई विल स्टॉप हियर any questions i would love to take those questions okay can you are satisfied so uh, you were the only person who told me just uh, in the last lecture you know? so so uh, <laughs> on that day my that kya bolte the headset was not also working it was not having it was having uh, it was sometime working sometime it was going okay fine so any questions i would like to take questions Uh, class group is into you can start your uh, this thing that uh, you take get in answers okay 45 students are joined okay sir once you just give me the attendance my god like in 38 uh, students the up to uh, uh, 950 when she gives me the attendance usme to bahut hota 60 70 i don't know how come who they come chale theek hai anyway 